is uh, Muhammad Imdal Alam from Bluebell Academy and you are watching our YouTube channel Bluebell Academy. Please like and share our videos and comment your opinions in the comment section and subscribe to our channel. It is free of cost and as soon as you will subscribe to our channel, please click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification of the upcoming videos. Hi viewers, today I am here not only to say something to the students and if you are a teacher and you are watching our channel, please try to know this, what is our responsibility and how we are going to explain the students. Actually today I am here to explain the concept of surface area of a cuboid. But before starting that, we should have to know the difference between a two-dimensional figure and a three-dimensional figure. 2D or 3D figures, I think uh, most of you have, uh, uh, what is that, uh, saw the 3D movies. And whatever in our home, whichever the TVs are there, we are watching, that is a 2D movie. And when we are going to 3D uh, any theater and wearing a glass, and we are seeing there, it is like the person or the character which we are seeing, it is uh, okay. coming out or popping out like a line. So that is a 3D. So here in geometry, geometry especially, we should have to know the difference between a 2D and 3D figure. Just a simple concept I want to talk to you people. If, suppose, I will show you its paper and I will ask what is the shape of this paper, then obviously you have to answer me as what? Rectangle. Rectangular shape or it is in the shape of a rectangle. And we know that a rectangle, any rectangle, if you see that, it is having only two dimensions. That is length and breadth. And diagrammatically, if I will write here or represent here, just see this. I am writing here L, that is the side length. And here I am writing B. Breadth. It is a two dimensional figure. And if I will see a thing like this, I think many of you saw here. I am here today actually to advertise uh, the PS soap and uh, Odoni. Maybe you people are thinking what is this on the table. Actually, this is here to explain. It. So, it is a two dimensional, three dimensional figure, uh, a three dimensional object, not a figure. So we are seeing here this particular object or the sh any object in the shape of this is called as a cuboid. Okay? Which is having three dimensions. What is the dimension? This is the length. This side is the breadth. And another line is there which is called as height. And diagrammatically, if you want to represent this on the board, we can draw it in this way. So this is the diagrammatic representation of a cuboid. And we can say here, this line is the length and this line or this edge is the breadth and this one we have to consider as the height. Okay? Maybe many of the teachers, if you are a teacher, you are listening to me, we are not explaining the students in this particular concept so that and I have heard personally from many students as teachers are writing the formula on the board and they are saying buy her the formula or memorize the formula. Today here I am going to explain you the formula. I am not going to make you to buy heart or I am not going to make you to memorize. I am going to make you to understand the formula. How is the formula and how we are getting that formula. Okay. So first of all, before going or before learning the surface area of a cuboid, let me explain you the concept of surface. So what is the surface? First of all, we have to know. So surface is nothing but just we have to cut very simple no need to go very deep meaning you just try to know it what is that surface surface is nothing but the number of ways in which 
a object can an object can be placed on a plane like i can say this surface of the table is a plane the surface of the blackboard is a pen even if this surface of this paper is also a pen if you are opening your notebook your textbook anything any flat space is called as a plane it is a plane now in how many ways we can keep this object on a plane is called as its surface so this particular object can be placed in how many ways just see this i think uh, the num i have wrote the numbers here it may be may not be clearly visible to you people so we can keep like this this is the one surface we can keep it like this two surfaces then we can keep like this three surfaces now we can keep it like this four surfaces we can even keep it like this five surfaces and we can keep it like this that is the six surfaces so this particular object is having six different surfaces but if you observe each surface is in the form of a rectangle okay each surface is in the form of a rectangle so now what we are going to do is this is the rectangle first we have to know the formula to calculate it, the area of a rectangle so i can say here area of a rectangle the formula is l into b l into b or length into breadth we have to multiply both the dimensions we will get its area area is nothing but the space occupied by that particular figure this inner space is called as the area which i am sharing now this is called as the area it will multiply both the dimensions you get the area so area of a rectangle is n into b or length into breadth this is about a rectangle now we are going to learn about this cuboid in cuboid we came to know there are six surfaces those six surfaces are categorized by two names what are those two names we have to see it here the first one is lateral surface area so for this lateral surface area first of all we have to know that what is the lateral surface area if you just see this object here this area which are visible here on the sides these four surfaces are called as the lateral surface area and if even if you are sitting in a classroom or a room the area of the four walls are considered as the lateral surface area in its lateral surface area we have if you observe one rectangle and opposite side the same type of rectangle is there and here also another rectangle and its opposite also having one more same rectangle one more other face is also having a rectangle so we have totally four rectangles and of uh, two of each same uh, two rect uh, rectangles are of same size two each opposite rectangles are of same size we can consider so lateral surface area formula if you want to learn so you can say here just see this if i want to say if i want to find out the area of this particular object you know that this is the length as i told this is the breadth and this is the height if i want to find out the area of this one i need to multiply the length and the height but same length and the height is also on this surface that means it is two times of length into height or l into h also you can say or l h also you can say not a problem Let me write two into n into h. Along with that, we have to add these two areas. This is breadth into height. Okay, so that is also two times here. So we have to write here plus two into b into h. 
Okay? Now you observe, we have in these two, what are common? If you observe, you have two is common in both the uh, terms or both the sides. Uh, sorry, both the terms you have to consider, h is also there common. So we can say it is 2 into h. So 2h has been taken from both, then remaining l plus b. This is the formula to calculate the lateral surface area of a cuboid. Okay? Hope you understood. Now, we have to go for the next one. That is the total surface area of a cuboid. Actually, uh, for the teachers, I, I would like to suggest you to use these kinds of objects. And uh, from past three years, I have kept this. Earlier this year, I have taken this one. If these things are not available, we have to see that which are the possible things are available which we can use in our teaching. So very easy, really I got this, it was in my home, I have brought and I am using it from past three years. And this year I have purchased this to explain. Anyhow, just I am saying you. So now through this help of this one I am going to explain. Uh, now we have to go for the total surface area. Total means the entire or the all. So we have to move on to the next one that is total surface area sorry if you consider the total surface area as I told we have six surfaces if I keep it like this the length this is the breadth and this is the height or with the help of this object I have explained so let me go with this one so here if you see we have taken this lateral surface area and along with that we have to take two more areas one on the top and another one on the bottom. Okay. So, but to understand it better, we have to go in this format only. Otherwise, with this, we can add up these two and we will get our answer. But better to go in the simpler way. Sorry. So, we have to go through this. So, we know that if we want to find out, we will start from here. If we want to find, we know that this side is the length, this is also the length. If this is the breadth, this is also the breadth. So best of all, we will go uh, in an order wise. So we have these types of two faces here. One here and one here. And this is the length and this is the breadth. If you want to find out the area of this, it is 2 into, uh, sorry, uh, the area of the rectangle is L into B. But we have two areas, so we can say 2 into L into B. Or in short, we can say 2 LB. 2 LB. Now, Next one we have to calculate the area of this one that is breadth into height and we have breadth into height two times here once and here once so we can say 2 into bh okay then again plus sign and now we have to calculate the area of these two surfaces same types of surfaces two are there and area of each surface is l into h or h into l also we can say that so 2 into h into l better to write so finally if you observe in all these three 2 is common so we can take 2 as common and we are getting 2 into lb plus bh plus hl ok so this is the formula to find out the total surface area of a cuboid. But I have forgot to say you one more thing, so that's let me write here. We are going to learn actually one more thing about this cuboid. That as your the name of your chapter is the 10th standard chapter is surface area and volume. So let me say you about the volume. So we can say here volume of a cuboid. So, if you talk about the volume, what is the volume of a solid object? If I will take this wooden block, I can say the content of wood used in this, the, and if it is a solid block, then I can say the content of wood present in this particular object is its volume. And if I will take any empty content, 
container like this empty box like this so if you see this here and we can say it that the inner capacity of an object or of a box also we can say anything can be uh, come uh, what is that in this form so the inner space or inner uh, capacity to have something inside is is called uh, called as its volume so very simple i'm using that i'm saying that volume is nothing but the capacity of that object you can say that so now volume of a cuboid formula is very 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 easy as for the area i have told you two dimensions were there area of a rectangle we have multiplied both the dimensions a into b and we got the area of that particular rectangle same like that when we are talking about a solid figure it is and we told at uh, that here three dimensions are there a into a l b and h if we multiply those three dimensions you will get the volume of the cuboid so that we can say the volume of a cuboid is very easy that is nothing but l, l into b into h. h this is the formula to calculate the volume of a cuboid hope all of you have understood and if you are a teacher once again i am saying if you are a teacher and you are watching our channel please use this kind of stuff to explain the students thank you